Hey everybody and welcome to Technology and Toys and in today's video I'm going to be showing you eight great Mac apps for the beginning of 2019. Uh, I did another video like this around this point in time last year and you guys really seemed to like it so I figured I'd do it again. I took some of your recommendations into consideration for this video and some of the apps that I'm showcasing here were suggested to me by you guys. Now there really isn't a theme with this one. The last one was focused on productivity and utility. And this one one's just cool apps that are just in general helpful and we're gonna jump straight in first one on the list is cheat sheet and it tells you hold command to cheat and you press and hold and it gives you this whole array of all the different commands that you can execute in this application at this exact moment in time so if I hit command comma it'll bring up preferences for finder I can make a new folder new window new tab and close all get info even tells me about screenshots and all that kind of stuff and it gives you a little cheat sheet as to what these buttons mean command is a little clover looking thing this is option or alt this is control and shift now if I let go it goes away and this works in all apps that have keyboard commands so I have pages here if I press and hold It'll bring up my commands for pages and then I can click on them and it will execute the command. Say I want to select all of this text and then I want to underline it. I underline it. Say I want to select it all and then I hold down command again. I can cut and there it goes. And the great thing about this app is it's free. It's 100% free. I'll have the link to download it down in the description below, as well as the other seven apps on this list. And uh, without further ado, let's jump on to number two. That wasn't intended to rhyme, but it did. Now, number two is called Daisy Disk. So D-A-I-S-Y, Daisy Disk. And what this is, is it's kind of like clean my mac but not really so what this does is it will scan your whole drive and once it's done scanning it'll give you this little chart of everything on your machine so like i can click into like super super finite things so like if i want to go to users i'll go to my user and i'll go to my documents it'll tell me how big this folder is or this file is and then it'll give me like little branch offs of what these all are see these are some of the videos that you've already seen from me that I haven't edited at this point in time and they're all in my unedited videos it lets me get into super fine detail we'll go into my technology and toys folder and it lets me go into super fine detail I think these are all my video archives yes yeah, these are all my video archives and it lets me look at each and every single one and I can drag and drop them here say I'll just drag this too and I can delete all of those I'm not gonna delete these because I I need them you know I could drag this Final Cut Pro bundle which I'm not gonna actually delete because I'm still working on but I could drag that in there and delete it and it'll instantly free up 25.7 gigabytes of my disk it's really great if you want to get in depth and know exactly where things are and how to delete certain things like if you have a bunch of final cut pro bundles and you don't know where they are in your storage you can go and find them in here drag them to the bottom and delete them and instantly free up that storage this is 9.99 on the mac app store linked in the description and using this in tandem with clean my mac 10 i've cleaned up a lot of space on my Mac. App number three is called App Locker, and as its name suggests, it lets you lock apps. The controller is up here in your menu bar, and you have to set a master password when you download and install the app. And for the sake of this video, I just made mine App Locker. And it lets me lock individual apps. Now it also locks important system apps, so like if I go to terminal, terminals locked and then you have to put in your password to open terminal you can see terminals not on this list I think it's the same with activity monitor yep you can see there it's password locked and now I'm in and then to add an app to lock you just click the little plus button and then it lets you scroll through all of your apps and you just click on them and they disappear from this list and then when you come back up here Airmail is now in that list, so if I go to open Airmail, it's locked. If you're presented with this and you don't want to actually open the app and you just want to quit it because you don't want to sign into it, you just hold Command, Option, and Q, 
and it will quit. See, it's no longer running. Now, this is a great tool if you want that extra level of control over your Mac. If you leave your Mac unlocked and you have snoopy little friends that like to get in and mess around with your stuff, you can lock all your apps, honestly, if, if you're really that into it and restrict their access to whatever. Now, if you have the master password for App Locker, you can come in and you can delete all of these apps. You can also set it so it doesn't start at login and you can just completely deactivate app locker app locker is a free app i'll have the link again in the description for you guys to check it out i don't think i've ever had to use this in the sense that i downloaded it for like my friends trying to snoop on my stuff but it's just another layer of security for those of you who are paranoid or are control freaks and like to control every last facet of your computer the fourth app on this list is called Battery Monitor. Now this is a free download from the Mac App Store and it will open up in your menu bar. It'll tell you your battery percentage. It'll show you your little battery icon and whether or not it's charging. So if I unplug it, it'll tell me that it's not charging and then it's supposed to tell me time remaining. And I plug it back in and that goes away. It tells me my current charge here, my battery capacity. I'm down to 96% of my full brand new battery capacity it tells you where your power source is coming from your battery's health how many cycles and then if it's on battery power it will tell you how much time you have remaining until your battery dies given what you're doing currently and it's also something that's over here in your control center it basically gives you all the same stuff and you can also customize what's here so if i hit the little i and i click add i can set my power usage my time remaining now, this is really cool for people that just want more information on the status of their battery number five is an app called deliveries and it's pretty self-explanatory if you are someone who orders a lot of stuff or you just want to track one specific package this is the app for you it is four dollars and 99 cents and what you can do is you can add a package from Amazon, Apple, FedEx, UPS, USPS, and you enter your tracking number. It would show the map here and you could pan around and see, you know, where is it? Where has it been? Where is it going? When will it arrive? And you can keep track of multiple different packages here. Very helpful if you're ordering a lot of stuff. App number six on this list is called Squash. <laughs> So for this demonstration, I have a screenshot of that document that we just took a look at. It's a TIFF file and it's 20.7 megabytes. That is huge for a screenshot. What this app does is it lets you compress images and turn them into JPGs so that they take up significantly less space on your drive. It's really simple. You just drag, drop. And it squashes, it says we squashed 20.5 megabytes out of that file. So if I go and look at the JPG version of it, you can see it's now 222 kilobytes versus almost 21 megabytes. Significant change in storage space right there. This is a little pricey. It's $14.99, but if you're someone that works with images and you want an app that works reliably for compression, I've been using this for over a year and it's amazing. I compress all my thumbnails, I upload them, YouTube takes them perfectly fine. App number six seven on this list is called Mac Pilot. And what Mac Pilot allows you to do is it allows you to take more control over your Mac. So we'll just start with screenshots, for example. I can change the file type of my screenshot. So right now it's a JPG. So if I hit Command Shift 3, the screenshot is JPEG. But if I set it to TIFF, screenshot again, see it's a TIFF file. And you can do a lot of different things in a lot of different system apps. And the way that I like to describe this is it's terminal for beginners. Because if you look, you'll notice you see disable dashboard that is a command that i featured in a video that i uploaded a couple weeks ago which will be showcased in the top right corner disable shadows when capturing only one window that was a command in that video so basically this app is terminal for beginners for people who are scared of the command line interface they're scared of messing up and they don't want to ruin their mac this is the easy way around for you it is kind of pricey coming in at 29.95 but if you want to change some of the things on your mac this is very helpful 
it, it even lets you browse different files and it, it gives you an overview of everything. You can do a lot of things with this app. It's just all there for you. You don't have to find the commands. It's all right here for you. Now the eighth and final app on this list is called Magnet. And this is an update to an app that I showcased last time called Moom. It works kind of the same way, just a little different. So if I open up a new finder window right here, I have my untitled folder. I can drag this window to the top of my screen and it will full screen it. I can drag it to the bottom like that and it will do it on the bottom half of that screen. I can drag it over to the side, it will split screen it. I can drag it up into this little corner and it will give me a quarter of my screen. It's basically window management from Windows 10, just in Mac OS. And then you can click up here and you can set it specifically. You don't have to drag it. You can center the window in the middle of your screen and it really lets you kind of put it anywhere. You know, sometimes you'll get that notification where it can't be narrower for some apps like Finder. And it's really cool for like using multiple windows side by side. So like I can drag and drop my two files here. I can just drop them back and forth between the two. I can do multiple apps side by side. Like I said, it's basically window snapping from Windows just on Mac OS. This is available on the Mac App Store for 99 cents. So this is an instant recommendation. Managing your windows like this is really as simple as dragging to the edge of your screen. And a lot of people recommended Magnet over Moom with my last video. So I figured I'd give it a try and I love it. So there you guys have it. That is my list of eight great Mac apps for early 2019. I don't know if you just caught it, but I used Magnet to position that in the middle of the screen. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you like the apps that I showcased. I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, tell me what apps you want me to feature in my next iteration of this video. This has been Jake with Technology and Toys. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.